everyone and welcome back to season two of the sims 4 legacy challenge so today we are here with riley jane and why is she looking so pissed off you may be asking well i don't even freaking know well i know but you know i can't tell you at this point so you guys are gonna just have to wait and find out why she is so pissed off she's feeling really tense and yeah if you guys can pick up on the hints then you guys are friggin awesome so we're gonna come out here with her today and uh just take note of everything and uh you guys will probably work it out so yeah she's feeling really miserable she's honestly just had a freaking day from freaking hell 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 yep yep she's had a day from freaking hell right now you guys and honestly She's feeling so tense that she just wants to go home and hide in her bed and that is what she is going to go ahead and do. She's not going to go travel with anyone. She's not going to do any of that. She's just going to travel home by herself. She's feeling really tense and there is a reason behind that and we will get more into that a little bit later on. So I hope that you guys are having a lovely weekend or a lovely week so far. I honestly have had a really great weekend. I'm excited for Easter coming up and I'm really excited just in general to be back today with the Legacy Challenge. I honestly have formed such a strong bond with this Legacy Season 2. I really freaking have. So right now Riley Jane is in a cab, she's in an Uber and she's like, oh my goodness I am feeling just all sorts of just nothing right now. Like I just cannot be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. She is the most cutest little button in the world. Like, you have to admit, she's pretty cute, right? So, Riley Jane, she's gone for a full makeover. She honestly got her eyebrows done. She got her eyebrows. Oh, I love, like, even though she's, like, really pissed off right now, I love her facial expression. She is the most beautiful, like, sim Oh, hey girl, what's up? Um, sorry, my phone just texted off. Like, I just got a text message. Uh, so yeah, she honestly is just so beautiful. I love her. So she went ahead and um, yeah, she's about to pee her pants. Um, she went ahead and brought a whole ton of new outfits. She's going through. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Like, do you guys think that she's so cute? Even though like she's oh, she's just throwing a bit of a hissy fit right now. But anyways, so what we're gonna do? Is, yeah, we're just going to play through today, and I'm really, really, really excited about everything, you know? So, of course, naturally, she's back home, and she's feeling really happy, you know? This is her pride and joy, her house that she freaking loves, and she would never freaking change it for the world. So, she's feeling really happy, which is awesome. So, she is coming upstairs to use the restroom. Uh, it is about dinner time, so we need to go ahead and prepare a dinner or pull out a meal from the fridge and heat it up and eat it because we are feeling really, really hungry. So pretty much I played a little bit off camera in terms of after we had Amy Lee's birthday, she left. She honestly is doing so well. She is in the entertaining career now and she lives in San Machino. And I'm so, so very proud of how far my sister has come and how far she is going to go in her career. And we definitely want to go ahead and check out her new apartment sometime soon. So what is the go ahead today? So Riley Jane, honestly... Or what has been the go-ahead today, because I'm going to tell you guys what we're doing soon, but I can't really tell you soon without telling you what we've sort of done. So Riley Jane honestly took the initiative today, and she has got rid of the big, huge bed from Amy Lee's room. She sold that uh, to a student who was new to the area, and they wanted a bed for cheap, so she only sold it for like 1200 bucks, which is pretty good. And she also went ahead and finished this beautiful, beautiful, um, let me just mute my phone. Uh, sorry, I'll just mute that. Perfect. Yes, so she went ahead and brought this really nice bookshelf. And it honestly was a bit worse for wear. She sanded it, she primed it and painted it. It looks so good. And she's just finishing it off by doing the last finish, finishing, finishing touches and stuff. And she also has put like a whole ton of clutter in there, which is super, super nice. So she also has uni, which was Peyton Rose's uni, which I'm so happy about. And of course, she doesn't have a really good relationship with uni. But anyway. So that is that. We also went ahead and extended out the bathroom a tiny bit and did some renovations there. Got a builder in. Was super nice. And we're just still waiting for the consents and stuff to put in a bath, which I think would be quite nice. And um, yeah, so we're waiting for consent to put a bath 
in this room because we are extending it out even further we're obviously doing structural work to the house so we're waiting on consents and stuff at the council and uh, yeah nothing really else has changed in there apart from the fact that we got a computer in Amy Lee's room which you saw before so yeah she has had a makeover and she's feeling really happy about it she's actually on her way to getting blonde here she's decided that she really wants to change up her look and ever since she was a teenager she's had that brown hair she wants to grow out her hair really long and have nice healthy blonde hair and she's doing it in a way that won't require her to constantly bleach her hair. So she's doing it all the way from her natural hair color, which I absolutely love. And oh my goodness, Valdia Strat. I've been thinking maybe opposites attract. This might be crazy. Hey, I just met you and this is crazy. But here's my number. Don't call me never. No, we're not interested. So uh, yeah, what is happening right now? She's actually doing a flirty painting. And we're also going to go ahead and call over someone. Now, you guys probably wondered at the start of the part why we were at a hospital. Yeah, well, Riley Jane decided that she was going to find out the baby, the baby's father. And honestly, guys, we're going to go ahead and call the baby daddy over. And uh, I'm going to make it a little surprise. And I'm going to pause this here and then come back when the baby daddy is over. Okay, so we're outside right now and the baby daddy is just off the, literally off the right hand side of the screen. He has just arrived and honestly, Riley Jane is feeling really tense. Alrighty, so it is a little tiny bit later and the baby daddy is actually over. They're actually at the back door. Uh, they walked through the house and then walked out the back door, had some air because they saw Riley Jane and they literally just flipped out. So what we're going to do is Riley Jane is actually going to go ahead and sit on the couch and the baby daddy is going to come in any minute now and you guys will see who the baby daddy is. So Riley Jane is going outside we're going to go check this out. Are you guys ready? Pause the video <laughs> if you're not ready because the baby daddy is dun 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 Jace Santana. We are having Jace's baby, you guys. And honestly, for the first time in Riley J's life, she's feeling really, really up. Like, she's feeling really, really uptight. She just doesn't really know. So what she's actually explaining right now to Jace is, it's pretty obvious, Jace. Um, I am pregnant and the baby is yours. He's like, what do you mean the baby's mine? I, it can't be, right? It can't be. She's like, it is. I found out today. He's like, oh my goodness. I just, I can't, I can't Riley Jane. I already have a son and I, I'm back with my, I'm back with my baby mama. Oh, that's got to hurt. And she's like, what do you mean? And she's like, I'm pregnant, Jace, and the baby is yours. And you can see naturally that he is really feeling just so uptight and just upset about it he's like i can't i i, I can't i i don't like I, I hate kids i'm not ready for this commitment yet like she's like what and she's honestly going to get so mad at him and she's going to yell at him and he's like i just don't see how this is possible and she's like if you think that i'm lying I, I will give you the documentation, you know, and, and, and he's like, look, I, I can't, I can't right now. He's like, look, if you think I'm going to move in and pretend to be happy families, you've got another thing coming. I am happy and I'm in love with my girlfriend and I'm going to marry her, Riley Jane, but I, I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. I just can't do this. And she's like, so does she know? And he's like, no, and she won't know. If you think that you're going to come over to my house and, 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 bang down my door and tell her you've got another thing coming stay away do not ever ever freaking come anywhere near me just 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 go away Riley Jane and of course Riley Jane's like can you leave but if you do don't come crying back to me because I am never ever letting you see the baby again and by the way we're having a little boy Oh my goodness. So he's leaving. That did not go very well at all. And of course, she actually wants to go over and mourn her mum, you know, and she's naturally just all of a sudden feeling really sad. She feels empty. She feels lonely. 
And she honestly just doesn't know what to do at this point. You know, she's got a freaking baby on the way. The father doesn't even care. He's being an absolute douchebag. So what she's going to go ahead and do is she's actually going to send a bit of a sad text over to Reese. Now, what the freaking heck are you doing, dude? What are you freaking doing? Like, what is he doing? Is he coming upstairs to freaking... Oh, my goodness, dude. Hey, Riley Jane, sounds really... Oh, Oh my goodness. Hey, Riley Jane, you sound really down. Come over and I'll cheer you up. Well, you know what? I can't, like, Jace is in my house freaking beating up uni. I, I can't deal with this right now. Like, I can't. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to head over to his house. Reese knows that we're pregnant, but he doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know that it's not his baby. And as I'm arriving at Reese's house, I'm like, oh my goodness, he thinks that this is his baby. And oh my goodness, what can I do at this point? What can I freaking do? So Riley Jane does need to tell Reese that the child is not his. He thinks that the child is his. He thinks that it is because Riley Jane hasn't told him otherwise, if that makes sense. And, and of course, Reese doesn't know about Jay. So yeah, so that would make perfect sense that it would be his child, right? Because yeah. So... <laughs> What we're going to do is, uh, I don't know, I feel like Riley Jane wouldn't, I don't know, because Jace is off the scene now, like, he's at our house, he's being a complete idiot, and he's just mucking up my whole house, he's probably ruining it by now. Maybe we'll go ahead and just, just pipe up to the fact that it is Reese's baby, why not? I mean, it's not like Jace wants anything to do with the baby, you know what I mean? And she's like, you're, you're the father, you're the father of the baby. And he's like, are you serious? That is so exciting. I'm really, really excited. That is great, babe. Like, I'm so happy, you know? So, so naturally, Reese is really excited. He's so excited to be a father. And little does he freaking know that, little does he freaking know that He's not the father. Anyways, guys, I am going to go ahead and wrap up this part of the Sims 4 Legacy Challenge right here. So just to recap, we told Jace that the baby is actually his and he doesn't want anything to do with the child in like he never ever, ever wants anything to do with the child at all. He's an absolute doodle. He's being just 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 annoying just really frustrating and Riley Jane has been like well you know what if he doesn't want to be a father to this baby then I guess Reese will be and so she's told Reese that the child is his and he's overjoyed so anyways guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the legacy challenge here leave your comments thoughts predictions down below in the comments how do you feel like this will affect the dynamic in the household now that we're kind of told a bit of lies but I mean sometimes you have to lie and and tell a few fibs in order to get where you kind of want to be right right we'll find out anyways guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I love you guys and I'll see you all next time bye guys